what is up welcome back to the channel uh, today uh, we are out trying to retrieve uh, my tree stand that I had up in the 2019 uh, bow season uh, I've actually got to know uh, the landowner whose property butts up to the state property so I don't have to cross the swamp which I'm actually super excited about so just goes to show it pays to be friendly to people uh, I got my deer cart we're gonna go ahead and basically walk back here and go and get my stand here it's been a while since I've been on this side of the property but this is uh, this is basically right where my archery uh, deer died this is where I found him he had ran probably 60 yards 60 70 yards maybe I didn't make the greatest shot. If you guys watch that video, I'll make sure I link it up top. But, uh, you know, obviously, as bow hunters, we do our best to make clean, ethical kills, but it doesn't always happen. And I felt horrible. And you live and learn, and hopefully, you can figure out or try to figure out what you did wrong. and try not to do it again the following year anyways I'm almost to my stand put the camera away real quick just so I can get across this water so I'll touch base with you when I'm back on the other side all right so here we are I'm at the tree stand looks intact doesn't look like anyone's been messing around with it so that's always a good thing my bow rope is there fake brush that I put up still there do you guys brush your stands in if you do leave a comment below let me know what you guys do uh, the area that I hunt or the tree that I primarily hunt out here is pretty much a stick tree doesn't have a bunch of cover so I actually bought a bunch of art artificial limbs and added cover to my stand last year which in my opinion I feel like it helped uh, that deer that I shot during bow season was right over here he was probably about 20 yards when I first saw him. He had already walked through like two, three of my main shooting lanes. I was focused on another deer that had come in on the other side. And when I saw him, he was already, he was on me. I was here, saw that deer here. There's my stand. And when I finally shot him, he was right here. He had just stepped out into this opening because when I shot him, my arrow hit this pole and he snapped my arrow off. He ran like 40 yards ahead and I knew he was, I knew he was hurt. And I gave him about three hours, three to four hours to sit. I got down, I looked at the blood, realized it was pretty good, started to track him. And I thought the shot initially was a lot further back but when I got down and I found him, I got on him, cleaned him out, I realized that I actually hit the back of the lungs and blew out his liver. Uh, like I said, I had to put another arrow into him to help him cross that line. I felt horrible. That's never a feeling I ever want to feel again. So I got to make sure that I uh, f do my part as a bow hunter and try to figure out how to slow down time. Uh, and control those nerves when I shot my other deer I had saw that deer walking out of these thickets here and I tried to swing around my camera arm he picked off that movement in the tree but I was able to use this tree to put in between us and I could still see the tail end of the deer uh, but I, he couldn't see me I couldn't see his face and I just basically waited it out and that deer got comfortable again with the area and walked out and gave me a perfect 40 yard broadside shot it was an amazing season for me i was very blessed very blessed to have those opportunities right now they're both at the taxidermy and i'm waiting to get them back this whole pandemic thing though has kind of slowed down the taxidermy work a little bit i guess there's shortages on goods so i don't know if i'll get them back this october or not I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I do, because this is definitely a long wait to be able to get a deer back. But I'm confident in the guy's work. Um, 
it looks awesome looks amazing so i'm willing to wait so he can work his magic and bring these light bring those two deer back to life so i can always relive those those memories uh, out in the woods but what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go ahead and start taking this stand down all right stands down it's pretty quick a lot easier than i thought it was going to be I tried to do a time lapse and record that but I don't know what the deal is camera didn't work so now I got everything on the ground over here I just got to clean up and we're gonna load it up on my deer cart and we're gonna work our way back out here and then I got one more stand I gotta go take down but uh, let's go ahead clean up this mess and get packed up say I'm very grateful that you let me access the state property from this side versus the other side I, I was able to completely avoid the swamp the water that I did have to go through wasn't bad at all so I'm gonna unload real quick and then like I said we got another stand that's gonna be a little more challenging to get hopefully it's all still there but stick with me and we'll find out uh, so I didn't record coming in just because I'm trying to make the second stand a little faster than the first one but let me show you what I'm dealing with. You can see where they stole the lower half section of my ladder. So I had to carry in two sticks. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't even know if that's gonna be enough. Damn it. They might have taken more than that. Shit. That sucks. We're gonna see. Hang on. And I didn't bring enough sections that sucks because that's not a short walk by any means I'm in a rush I want to get out of here I want to get back home I was able to get one of my cables but I think for the time being that thing's just gonna stay out here I'll be back out in this area a couple more times but I don't know if I want to mess with this right now that sucks, man. Came all the way out here. You know what sucks to begin with? It's just the fact that someone was that big of a douche to take. Just take the whole damn thing. Why Why just take part of it? I don't understand that. Alright, I'm going to pack up. I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys on the next one.